Hi everyone, this is Amy from the Helms Academy and today we'll be taking a look at angles and degrees in geometry. So let's start with a couple of key terms. First of all, an angle is the figure formed by two rays meeting at a common endpoint. So we'll look at some examples of where angles are in different shapes today. And a degree is a measure for the angles. It tells us how big or small that angle is with a number. Now on the screen here, there are some important angles to know, and there's also a tool that you might recognize there in green. That is a protractor, and it's a way of measuring how big an angle is. So if you put one flat line of the angle on the bottom, then you can see on the degrees marked around the top how big or small the angle is. Now on the angles to know, you'll see that we have the 45 degree angle, the 90 degree angle, the 180 degree angle, and the 360 degree angle. So the first angle, the 45 degrees, is a common one because it's half of the 90 degrees. Now, 90 degrees is called a right angle, and anything smaller than 90 degrees is called acute, and anything larger than 90 degrees is called obtuse. So those are very common ones that you'll see often, and they're good measurements to know in your mind as you're looking at different angles and it will really help you to be able to make better educated guesses the more that you know about those angles. Now for the 180, you can see that's twice the 90 degree angle. So it's essentially a flat line. That angle is 180 degrees and that's a semicircle. So if we wanted to know an entire circle, we have to double that. So 360 degrees is the full turnaround, it's the distance all the way around a circle. Now, for angles in a triangle, the important thing to remember is no matter what the triangle looks like, look like any of these on the screen or look like something else, the sum of all the angles is always going to be 180 degrees. So if you have a very large angle on one corner, the other two corners are going to be smaller values and vice versa. So you will see in any triangle, you can always count on that fact. The angles will always add up to 180 degrees. Now, in a quadrilateral, the sum of the angles is 360 degrees. A quadrilateral is any shape that has four connected sides. So you can see here, there are many examples, including the square and the rectangle and the parallelogram, but there's also one that's more of a diamond shape, a trapezoid shape, and just kind of a general quadrilateral shape with four sides, uh, but maybe doesn't have a, a typical name. So. In every one of these, for example, in the square and the rectangle, you can see that the corners are all 90 degree angles. So if you add 90 plus 90 plus 90 plus 90, you'll get 360. But even if the shape is shifted to another angle, the sum is always going to be 360 degrees. Now there's something called equivalent angles, which is really important to know about. For example, look at this parallelogram on the screen. What do you notice about the angles on there? Well, the way that it is tilted kind of looks like a square or a rectangle that was tilted to one side. The way that it's tilted means that the angles that are opposite each other are always going to be the same degrees. So if we know angle A, we also know angle C. And if we know angle D, we'll also know angle B. With a triangle, you'll sometimes see some modifications done to the triangle so that you can tell which angles are the same. Do you see the two lines on the bottom of that triangle with the gray corners? Those lines show that the angles are equivalent. And since we already know that an, a triangle adds up to 180 degrees, all we'd have to do is figure out what those two equivalent angles are. So I could take the 180, I could subtract 80 from it because we already know that one angle is 80 degrees, which leaves me with 100. And when I split 100 evenly into those bottom angles, I know that each one of them would be 50 degrees. Now, the degrees in a circle are also important. Here you can see how the degrees add up. Now, you'll notice that the 0 and the 360 share a spot there, kind of at the 3 o'clock level of the circle. So, if you go up from the 0, you'll see you make it to 90 degrees. Go all the way to the nine o'clock spot, that's 180 degrees. Go to the six o'clock spot, that's 270 degrees. 
And if you were to make it all the way back around the circle, you'd be back for 360 total degrees. This is a great visual to show you some of the different degree amounts and what they look like at different angles. Just always start at the zero, and then you can see based on where the other lines come out. Now, thank you so much for watching today and good luck on your math test. We have so many more videos for you to check out here on the Helms Academy YouTube channel. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up, a comment, and subscribe so you don't miss any of the latest info. You can also check out the Helms Academy on Instagram and Facebook and on our website at helmsacademy.org.